So they'll be calling you a radical. I cannot believe that people are not, they're, I mean, it's every news source in the world is reporting. Fukushima is going to dump these tanks into the ocean. I cannot believe that this doesn't open the door for people's minds to investigate a little bit and say, wait a minute, Fukushima, I thought that thing was cured long ago. Wait a minute, what? These are ongoing, I thought they said it was a hydrogen blast. Wait a minute, these are ongoing nuclear full blown out meltdowns? Four of them? Four. Verified, full blown out nuclear meltdowns burning into the earth. They got no handle in the Pacific Ocean. Not to mention at least four spent fuel pools blown to smithereens. Unit three full of MOX fuel, the worst of the worst, blew to smithereens into the biosphere, dumped water on it for 3,516 days now. How is this even humanly possible that this doesn't open? I mean, we've always been afraid of meltdowns. Good timing. Oh, nice. Always been afraid of nuclear meltdowns. Until a nuclear meltdown happens. Why? By the way, there's a problem up at Palisades. That nightmare. I've been bitching about that nightmare. That one's on my top ten list in Michigan. Now they're saying the NRC's... When the NRC says there's a problem, they're supposed to work for us but they've turned into the nuclear rallying cheerleaders. And if you don't believe me, the head of the NRC worked at Idaho National Lab and has gave the go-ahead for little nuclear reactors. And her friend, her buddy she worked with, Jose Reyes, she just handed him, her and Trump, $1.3 billion. So you can go along with this dog and pony show, but I, I understand. you just going to let it happen. Not going to hold the nuclear energy crime syndicate accountable. Not going to hold the media accountable. Not going to hold politicians accountable. What about Obama? Letting this go. What about Trump? Who's been the president for the last few four years? And by the way, he knows all about Fukushima because we asked him. I asked him from here to that. Mallard. Are you going to talk about Fukushima? It was on Fox News. Yes. Before the election. Has he? Has he? I mean, he was in Japan. He's been with Abe 18 times, a Japanese PM. By the way, the Japanese PM's dying right now. He's full of cancer. You know, oh, it's just a juvenile freaking intestinal thing he's been battling. Then why would he just emergency all of a sudden out of nowhere just step down? These people are so addicted to power, you can't drag them off the field. Just like the head of the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy in Vienna. You know, we talked to him. He went to Fukushima, Japanese, 72 years old. The next year he's got cancer. Dead. <laughs> Rakakiiki. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. So, how is it possible that this is mainstream media right now? I mean, I stood right here. How many years ago? Right here. And said, if you believe them, just remember, Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. George W. Bush won the 2000 election. Pat Tillman freaking died in valor fighting off 9 million Al-Qaeda freaking Osama bin Laden himself when he was murdered by his own people. I mean, the, what a sham. Yet, so, you know, I'm like, well, the theft of the elections, all this. But Fukushima, that's a whole other animal. They're not going to be able to cover this up. But what I underestimated was the American psychic. Scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're perplexed, they're bewildered. I underestimated that they can't handle the truth. They don't want the fucking truth, you know. They're not even... They're willing to freaking death for dogma. You know, Trump's their lord and savior. Obamacans versus Trump when they're the same pro-nuclear freaking puppets. Same with Biden. I mean, I don't know. It's a disgrace, so... I mean, it's right there out there. Every news source, oh, they're going to dump. 
Still waiting for the main event. What do you think's happened to these meltdowns? I, I mean, what do you think's going on with these meltdowns? They'll tell you, I'll tell you how hot it is. And it is global warming. The tide pools have all dead, salmon have collapsed, the fires. They have literally sent over a hundred robots in to try to find these cores. One of the robots they reported could handle up to, Leslie Stahl reported it, handle up to 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit. 7,000! It melded. They can't get near it. Well, what do you think that heat source is going? Oh, it's going into the Pacific Ocean. What do you think it's doing there? Which, uh, you know, we're just going to measure. Measure what? You don't even know what it is. A nuclear meltdown has never happened in the history of this world till March 11th. It changed everything. So for every action, there's a reaction. This is the greatest action in human history. So you're trying to tell me there's no reaction? When the evidence is right in your face. Yet we're going to go along with the NSA, the CIA, I mean, the United States military, well, excuse me, whatever this political apparatus we have post 9-11, classified it. So we're just going to make it, ignore it, and it's going to go away? It's not going to go away. So, I mean, you'd think every man going to draw, oh, oh well, well, Fukushima, well, 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 uh, I thought that was fixed long ago. Unbelievable. So, anyway, stand tuned. It's the biggest event in human history. The greatest PhD in human history. Kevin Blanche. Yet, nobody wants to hear it from me. Yet, I mean... Go to California. Go out in the tide pools and just look. Well, the thing that I've learned over time, people don't even know what a healthy tide pool looks like. Uh, uh, what, salmon? They don't even know that salmon live in the Pacific Ocean. They had record returns. They collapsed in 2016. What about cancer rates? They've gone psycho post-Fukushima. And by the way, radiation readings have gone nuts in the United States. Because... Gina McCarthy was had a rednet under the Obama administration. They crashed rednet. Remember, they just took it down. So freelancers have put or is I mean, Bob Nichols does great work on it. You know, the old vet. I mean, we have freelancers everywhere. These numbers have gone psycho. The radiation readings post Fukushima. The Pacific Ocean collapses. I mean, all coincidence. I, I can't believe this country is allowing the nuclear energy crime syndicate to expand. I mean. Well, they think it. They're just looting money out the door. There were 104 nuclear reactors when Fukushima happened in the United States. There are 64 and going down. But we won't deal with the waste, will we? So, China. Oh, we're going to... Our generational mock for... We're going to have by 2014, we're going to put one on a month. Generational Westinghouse fives. You know how many they've put on? 0, 0.0. China pivoted to solar long ago. I mean, and then this whole tired thing, oh, we just don't have enough oh, for solar. You're going to have a 1990 conversation in 2020. Oh, please. Denmark's freaking dark six months a year. They're all alternative energy, solar and wind, but the whole thing. You know, Trump, oh, wind towers give you cancer. <laughs> what do you think a nuclear reactor does? Not to mention the carbon footprint. How about Vogel? How about the Mox fuel fairy tale at Savannah River, Georgia? $29 billion we spent. How about the centrifuge freaking plant in Toronto? The centrifuge freaking nightmare in Illinois. You know, people don't even understand. It's not I mean, what, how they get the uranium fuel. I mean, this is the dirtiest, filthiest, clean green, too cheap to murder nightmare in the history of mankind. I mean, it's unbelievable. I don't know. Fight goes on. I mean, I... I guess it's just too tough to handle. But, of course, NSA, CIA, freaking the powers that be just squashed my view count, went after me. I mean, when I got an email one time from a guy and he says, some of your videos have a 25% like to view watched. He says, it's unheard of. I says, and I just think most people are watching on a handheld device where you can't hit the like button if you want it because a lot of these devices won't allow you he says yeah he says well that's the hallmark that your view counts being squashed i says no shit thank you mr obvious you know so i don't know 
I'm dumbfounded, to be honest with you. I'm starting to be, I'm starting to sound like the scientist now. I'm mystified, I'm curious, I'm stumped, I'm perplexed. I'm bewildered at why the American populace is allowing this nuclear energy crime syndicate to continue this thievery. I don't get it. I don't get it. You, Trump has dumped out more nuclear pork than all other presidents combined. He's worse than Truman. I mean, unbelievable. One point... Four billion last week alone to a, a scam that will never happen. He gave $180 million to Bill Gates' little nuclear reactor last week. That's Trump did that. I mean, unbelievable. So, stay in tune in. Fight goes on. Fight goes on. I'll get by with a little help from my friends.